That's all for today, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it was a good episode. That's what Timmy Boy does. <laughs> Timmy Boy, a little bit about how you made that. Tell me again about your style. Tell me again. <laughs> what kind of computer did you use for that? <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to use Windows because we don't have a license <laughs> for the software. Yeah, so if anybody wants to Ridiculous. donate a Mac CS 5.5 uh, cool. production suite license, we can. Because we can't afford we'll to, to we do can fancy on stuff like that. that. <laughs> But so, no, that's that was really no. Neat. That's After Effects. And your and, and your obsession with uh, me drinking Pepsi is clearly evident. Yeah. In yeah. in all those frames of me. I'm glad you framed me as the heavy hitter. Yeah. Sitting down with the Pulitzer. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. That was a pivotal moment. <laughs> I'm glad you put yourself down with the big kind of like the big mic, the big Zonkin mic. mic and that Google. was my uh, <laughs> my favorite beard mic. Yes, that's right. And, and that, that and that is it, that was that. That intro was a roller co coaster of DTLT love. I like that. I like that yeah, phrase. And I like Perfect. Martha getting kind of all vehement with the thing in her hand. Yeah. That was the day we did the whole uh, yeah, assessment. She's, and she's pretty learning. intense when she does these shows. That was only my We're second time back. using After Effects. I didn't create the whole thing. There was a template right. I was working from, so it's not like I sat here from scratch. It was that. amazing. You did. Let's but play it again. I want to see it again. That we'll was play amazing. Play it again. Play it again for the people. All right. One more time, and then we're done. Right, the people. Thousands of, right. Thousands of pictures <laughs> of them. Right. Good work, Timmy Boy. Nicely That's done, amazing. Tim. Cool new intro. Now, nope. let's ask the people before, because we got to compress that. Did that drag on your side? Did you guys see it kind of like... Did, did, Was did, it did, stuttery? <laughs> we could be waiting for yeah. Yeah. hours for an answer. So. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Okay. So, from, Shana Tate, thank the you. The person who's bit. actually in the room with us. Choppy. <laughs> and it, it was, was low, low res. res. Well, I mean, it's a broadcast. Hammered. Yeah. So. And right. hammered. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> is that a, you it's have a hammered. drunken is that animation. <laughs> New media specialist. We yeah. should we should do these shows hammered. Exactly. <laughs> if only. So what what is this show about anyway? Besides what? Timmy's new spanking brand new intro that looks so good. And his white socks. And my white socks. And it's, and yes, this is a sock cast. It's about the MacGuffin. The MacGuffin the Muc mania. MacGuffin. Yep. Thank you to Michael Branson Smith, Tom Woodward, Incredible. and Todd Conaway. We mm -hmm. have... For getting that kind of little centripetal force going. It's like the animated gif of this semester so far. It was. It's the one thing that like everybody has just grabbed on to. Yeah. It is. And I think I was reading Todd Conaway, and a special shout out to Todd. I mean... He says we talk about ourselves a lot, which we do, and he can suck it. <laughs> but the other thing is that he's awesome with these open classes. Sure. He's in there. He's commenting. He's excited. The guy believes it. I just love his energy. So, so what, anyway. So what is a MacGuffin for those watching who haven't been following DS106? So a MacGuffin literally. Is well, the original context was the, was the Hitchcock. Uh, exactly. device that was just kind of like this thing that was shown in the movie that didn't have anything to do with it but it was kind of it would further the story That's right. um, like the wine bottle in in notorious and and uh, or the suitcase with the money that you right. never see exactly you follow it on the train yeah, yeah. kind of like this is supposed to be important but it really turns out not to be so much but yeah um, and no one has done any Hitchcock ones yet yeah That'd be funny we'll see those come down yeah it's a challenge right there yeah so this assignment is to take the MacGuffin, take the main pivotal thing, and switch it in a way so that the entire movie is just blown. The whole it's plot's over. just done. I love it. Like, as Noise Professor said, and Noise Professor's done a bunch of good ones, we'll see. 
But as noise professor said, it's like as soon as it comes, it's like the curtain falls, it's over. Right. <laughs> so I love that. Perfect. This is this is one that Todd did. It's the um, first one I We didn't say anything, so you're lucky. All right, so we, we're, our audio is back. What so, amateurs. You didn't, amateurs. You didn't lose audio. We just... Uh, we wanted to give me. you time to read. Yeah, we, we were just giving you <laughs> reflection time. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. That's what they do to the pros. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the hammered people do. <laughs> so here's Jack Torrance in the interview who's saying, you know what, that's a horrible story. The girl's being chopped up. I'm not taking the job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Why would I want to be here all winter? Exactly. <laughs> My wife is not a ghost and horror <laughs> fan. She would never go for this. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and but, you did this one, Jim, from Hal. Oh yeah, I got this basically Bobby because Cog Dog did the one like with the with the monkeys beating the the skulls with the bones. Right. They're like, let's go build a house or let's go build something constructive <laughs> rather than beat each other over the head right. and kill each other. Is there the is the bugging one there? The bugging one the I don't bugging have out. In here. The do the right thing. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. I like that. That was a <laughs> This is my favorite one of all. <laughs> oh, this, this is, is just beautiful. This, is all, <laughs> this <laughs> takes it to the whole different like <laughs> Western civilizations now in doubt. Well what you mentioned, what's beautiful about this is that it's both that it's a she and also that it's not an immaculate conception exactly. anymore. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a double hit. It is. <laughs> well, now, now was this This is genius. Were yeah. people referring to I noticed that somebody said um, you know, uh non-filmic uh elements are are now fair game for mm -hmm. this. Was like that, is that what was that what brought this or or historical events He is that, started it. Okay. He went right to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, I'll call so, it Jesus. -a. Yeah, and you can't really go anywhere once you <laughs> kind of like, hit Jesus. It's like that's it. It's like, you know, we are just a totally different people. <laughs> I love that one. Unworthy. What else do we have? We have Oh, this is a new DS 106er. This is Actually Ben Rhymes brought him into the to the fold. Yeah. Never ending story. I think I'll go watch cartoons <laughs> <Exactly>. instead. <laughs> and this is another one that works on a lot of levels. Yeah. Saturday morning cartoons, no one's reading. You know, and it's just brilliant. I think Ben did this one, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> See who did it? Oh. <laughs> the ring belongs to Sauron. We'll return it. That's it. <laughs> we just got to do it. Enough. It's done. It would save you a lot of time. It's like four hours worth of stuff you wouldn't have, ever have to wade through. No. Right. Just bring it back to song. <clears throat> this is one I did this morning. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to ask Timmy Boy for a little bit of a... Because I didn't know the Slytherin versus, you know, the house he lived in. You like Harry Potter, but you don't love... I don't love Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. No. Yeah. To be honest, neither do I. But I am, I am up on the pop culture. Mm -hmm. so, oh, good. Yeah. That's good. It's good to be up on the pop culture. It is. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, we've got Saving Private No One. <laughs> you headed home. But I think his. Do you have? Do you have the one he did with Shawshank Redemption? I don't. That one's just brilliant. Like instead of life in prison, <laughs> twelve months of community service. I mean, that's great. And Mikhail's one with Wild Bunch. Where he's basically like, you know, we never liked Angel. Let's go get a drink. <laughs> I mean, they just go on and on, right? Yeah. Um, the other one, uh, Lou McGill did the great one about double indemnity, where the husband says, you know what, I'm not signing the insurance policy, which basically kills the whole film. Right. I mean, they're just genius. Beautiful. I loved it. Now, so keep coming. Now, let's, let's talk about this for a second. So there they are, and they're awesome. DS 106 Communities find its way, and Michael Branson Smith's doing awesome stuff there. We had that with the animated GIF. We have it again here with the MacGuffin. What about these events? You know, Chris Lott called it like the glass bead game. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this? I mean, just as a kind of way to get the open course. Well, I'd almost forgotten about it, but, you know, Tom Woodward blogged about this back in Jan January of this year, before the spring semester really even began with DS-106, about this idea that you could sort of have these wild cards and these playing cards that play off assignments one after another so it's like okay you do an assignment that's just this basic you know minimalist poster or something but then i hand you a card 
that says you have to follow this link and do the exact opposite of what those people did. So now, and the beauty of that is that there's a lot of interpretation there. What does the opposite mean? They're minimalist, so maybe I don't do that, or they did a poster, so now I make a video instead. Like, hmm. there's a whole lot of variation there. Yeah. And it's just this idea of game theory, this idea that you can turn it into a game. Yeah, which is what this quickly became. And yeah. I'm interested in the idea that an event like this, it's not predictable. You can't prescribe it. But people get excited, and from that flows all sorts of possibility. And it's yeah. almost like a warming up. It's like an mm. exercise. It's like community building. It's like having fun and people knowing you're having fun. Like, I didn't stay up till four in the morning listening to Dr. Garcia on the radio or doing these because I felt like I needed to. Right. Because I felt like I needed to, I would have gone to bed. You know, I would have said, <laughs> ah, you know, that came up with some excuse. It's because I wanted to. And people obviously want to do it. Yeah. It's a huge difference. It seems subtle and indistinguishable, but it's huge. Yeah. And we have Tom Woodward to blame again for this. I know. <laughs> well, and the, the link is up there for uh, the assignment. Ah, good. The one he linked to. Yeah. So I'd be interested, anyone out in the chat, who do you have theories on what this might mean for an open course? You know, I mean, uh, I'm interested, and I know it's half-baked. And Michael Branson Smith last semester wrote a lot about the game theory and DS-106 when it came to Dr. Oblivion. But, I mean, here we go again. We got the narrative. We also have the individual kind of fun of the animated GIF. So we're also marrying, kind of marrying both the spring semester and the summer semester in cool ways. So that Alan's concerns that, you know, all narrative and no free play makes right. Alan a dull boy, right? <laughs> well, now we don't have that. Like, we have both. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I will honestly say I, this assignment, playing around just today with the MacGuffin stuff, gave me a little feel of the spring. It was the first time, like, we had the whole summer of Oblivion, but there was never, and I was very busy this summer anyway, so it, that may have been part of it for me. Yeah. But it was just like, this summer I didn't really have that dr drive to jump in, and, you know, DS-106 wasn't new like it was in the spring, but this was the first time I was like, I'm back in it, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, I, I pumped out two blog posts just this morning because mm -hmm. it was just like that assignment, and I'm hoping we get plenty more, and we've already got a huge archive of them, but it's just like those are the ones that are key that just like pull you in and say, I've got to jump into whatever program I can grab and start making art. And then start seeing who's doing what and commenting. Well, it, you, you could have the tendency to kind of look at this assignment and say that it's frivolous mm -hmm. um, in, in one way, like an animated GIF. Okay, they're, they're doing this goofy stuff, and people might look at this and say, well, you know, what, what is the purpose? But what this actually gets to is, is the idea of what is that pivotal scene in this story? You know what is it? Yeah. What is it that makes makes the the film turn on a dime kind of thing, and what makes it go in a completely different direction? Yeah. So there's you know there's that that high end analysis of this that um, that really makes this this one singular assignment as as valuable as, as as any other kind of assignment that you would get in a traditional course. And it makes you think through the narratives you know, yeah. and imagine them and go through them. But it's in a fun way. Like the end result is okay. Now demonstrate your knowledge. Yeah, yeah. It's like make someone laugh. Well, and you could do everybody could do, be assigned one film and say, okay, do this for this one film, and see all the different interpretations of of where the film could go um, in a yeah. different direction. Yeah. Um, so it's got endless possibilities almost for this analysis. You could analysis. pull in the remix idea. There's no reason that you couldn't have like a really nice uh, animated GIF. They, we've, we've done really nice looking ones, the cinematography yeah. type stuff. I forget what they call them, cinemagraphs? Cinemagraphs. Cinemagraphs. Yeah. So if, if you yeah. had a cinemagraph but also had the text underneath of it, yeah. remix those two assignments together, I think, you know, I wanted to get back to something you said earlier because I found it, Tim, interesting, Tim. I mean, you mentioned that um, you know, you were busy this summer, the summer of oblivion was kind of like you felt it in the spring but not in the summer, and it raised a question for me, like, you liked the summer of oblivion, <laughs> but you didn't <laughs> love the summer of oblivion, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I, I knew when you, I knew when you started no, that sentence that it wasn't going you, anywhere. If you liked, Good. that's the difference between liking the summer of oblivion and loving the summer of oblivion. I love the summer of oblivion. Did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go there. It, it was a ride. How about that? No. <laughs> I don't even really want to talk to you about the summer of Oblivion. I think you did good work in the fall. I'm proud of you. <laughs> summer was kind of a loss. Do you want to watch my intro video again? <laughs> yeah, let's see the intro video. No. 
MacGuffin. No, but the MacGuffin is a great start to DS106. It's a good start. Mm -hmm. and everybody jump in there and create more assignments like it. Yeah, and, you know, kudos to Michael Branson Smith. I mean, we didn't even talk about this. You want something to talk about? You kind of stoogies. <laughs> 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 This is your episode. Yeah, this is. You want something to talk That's about? Why you're in the you want a toe? I'll get you a toe. <laughs> this is the deal. Michael Branson Smith now was taking DS 106 at your college for 40 students there and beyond and making it his own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. Like, mm -hmm. this course site has become completely. He's the, he's the Uber admin. He's running it now. I'm hands off. I'm helping him get the syndication stuff in, but it's mm -hmm. his class. Yep. And it's a digital arts class, so get ready for some incredible stuff. Yeah. And it's the idea that it's so kind of interchangeable. Compared to the shitty Mary Washington student. <laughs> and sheer, yeah, no, and shareable, yeah. I only said it because we have a student aid. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know what's going on with Timmy today. He didn't take his medicine. The point is this. You have a, a site now that people can use and we can teach in many ways. Cheryl Collin would have done it as well, but good for her. She got a full-time job, but she's playing along. I mean, that's the idea of this. Yeah. Let's open it up and let people use it. Yep. I mean, I love this idea, and I kind of love that Mary Washington, we're in the down low, and we can play. Yeah. We and not be like, it's Mary Washington's thing. It's not. Yeah. Like you trying to be with DTL I can today. finally like write it off as part day. of my job as opposed to what I'm not doing when I should be like, doing my job. You're your freaking TV station. This is my thing. Did you see my intro? I like my spring DS106 versus the summer. Tell me again about my... <laughs> Tell me again about my fucking show. Unbelievable. I think that's all we probably have for, for today. But thanks for joining us on our sock cast. Yeah. Um, we'll be back. Uh, actually, that we, we do have a programming note. Um, we've got some issues for next week. We're... Uh, we're not sure how the oh, yeah. casts are going to go. We're, we, They're we might be, stealing our equipment. Yeah. We might be We're shut, shut down for a couple of days. So we'll oh, see. Not shut down. We'll see we're, what we, we come will up with. broadcast. You well, just don't know what it's, it's also going Bob to be about. What, what we're doing, what the purpose of the show is just kind of, this is a little theater for them, a little, a little teaser, okay. if you will, just to say, you know, we don't know what's going to happen next week no with our idea. broadcast. So um, stay, tuned. stay tuned to Twitter. Stay tuned to the, uh, to the internets, and uh, we'll see you next week, I guess. Next week it is. All right. Thanks. Bye.